in to the live. Thank you all for coming. We are cooking this morning live, this afternoon live, it's afternoon for some of you all, it's afternoon for me. Um, we are cooking shepherd's pie. It's St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. So we're going to cook shepherd's pie. Hello, Misty and Kate. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome into the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Hey, Maria, how are you? How are you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Hey there, Chef BC Cherry. Hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Retro. Hey, hey, how you doing, Retro? Yes, we are cooking shepherd's pie. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going to get started in just a few minutes. I actually have my potatoes already trying to heat up over here because I'm cooking not over on my stove so it takes a little bit longer for this to heat up so I got them heating up. I typically don't put a top on them. I'm trying to get them to come on up to a boil. Yes, yes, I am so glad. How is Mango Nerdy doing? How is she? I'm glad you are here, Retro. I remembered Shepherd's Pie. I remembered. Yes. Hey, hey, JT. How are you? How you doing, JT? How is mom? How is everyone? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. We're going to get started here shortly. Mm -hmm. In just a minute or two, this is a quick shepherd's pie because I'm going to cook everything first. When it goes in the oven, it's only going to need to be there for maybe about five to eight minutes just until the potatoes pretty much set and start to brown on the top. I'm working on you. All right, uh, JT. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And I want to message you about that too, because I'm going to be doing another little quick change on it. <laughs> Just a tiny, just a tiny, tiny, tiny one. Yes. All right. All right. So glad you are here. She's doing better. Oh, okay. I didn't know she was not uh, doing well, feeling well. Hey, Isabel. How are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Guys, so over here I've got, let me go ahead and put some salt in here. I'm going to go ahead and get started so we won't be here all day. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so I have my potatoes getting ready to boil over here. Like I said, I'm cooking on my cooktop, so it's a little bit slower coming to a boil. That's why I have my um, top on my potatoes to sort of go ahead and boil have a skillet on as well. Hey, the A-Team is in the house. How you doing? How you doing, A-Team? Good to see you. Yes. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I sure will, JT. I sure will. Hello, Mama Ray Ray. How are you? Welcome into the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah, so like I said, my potatoes are here. I'm trying to get them up to a boil. I'm trying to heat up my skillet over here a little bit. And guys, the, all the ingredients and exact measurements will be in the description. You know I'm not big on measurements while I'm actually cooking. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, so we're gonna put our ground beef in the skillet here. Go ahead and get it up to temp as well. Like I said, I'm not cooking over there on my stove, so I'm heating my skillets up a little bit ahead of time and they are still not hot enough, but that's okay. I do know they will come up to temp. So guys, you can use ground beef, you can use lamb, you can use turkey, chicken. You know, I have just a snippet of history in my description about shepherd's pie, so take a look. But originally it was made with beef and it was made from leftovers. So if you got some leftover meat, this is a good meal for it. It's a good meal for it. Yes, Mama Ray Ray, are you doing okay today? Are you doing okay today? Wait for these potatoes to come up to a boil so I can actually get that top. But now I'm hungry. All right, that's a good thing, Retro. That is a good thing. Yes, I've always wanted to try. It is delicious. It is delicious. If you like, you know, um, originally it was really cooked with lamb mostly. Uh, I'm not, I like lamb chops, but I'm not a favorite uh, ground lamb. So I'm using ground beef. You can use lamb. You can use a combination. It, it doesn't matter. You can use any, any of the thumb. Chicken, ground chicken, ground turkey, any of that. 
Yeah, so I'm just waiting for this skillet, kind of trying to get it up to temp so we can go ahead and cook my meat and we can get our other ingredients going as well. So everybody, I hope you all are doing great. Happy St. Patrick's Day today. Yes, we are cooking easy, quick shepherd's pie, St. Patrick's Day recipe. Yes. Mama on deck, how are you? I did not see Mama on deck. How are you? Where did she come in at? All right. Oh, the 18-year-old used to be Mama on deck. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. A lot of people don't know I changed. I did not know you changed your name, Mommy on deck, because I was looking. I saw Mama Ray Ray speak to Mommy on deck, and I'm like, I don't see her. <laughs> okay, good, good. Come on, Skillet. Come on, get up to tip, and come on, potatoes boil. Those are the two things I need to get started right away. Hello, Maria. Yes, how are you? All right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mara, how are you? Yes, I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, please let me know. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. I have to work St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. My favorite holidays. Oh, yes. Well, in this in this um, era and time, JT, I'll just say be thankful you're working. How about that? <laughs> yes. I don't know if it's gonna be the same this year anyway. A lot of places are opening up, but I don't know if a lot of pubs and places will be open late as they normally would, you know. I actually miss the St. Patrick's Day parade myself. Um, I like that parade a lot, so I miss those things as well. You guys, don't forget to thumbs up the live as you come in the door. I think I would make mine with ground to, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is an absolutely excellent choice. It really is. Okay, it's starting to cook now. I hope you guys can see a little bit of what I'm doing um, with the way the camera is situated. True. Now everyone getting their stimulus checks, so Amazon is going, oh yes it is. I'm pretty sure. People making all kind of purchases. That's not a bad thing either, JT. Yes, that will be nice, the 18. Isabel says, now I want to try this recipe. I've never, oh, you must try it. Like I said, I will have all the ingredients and the exact measurements in the description. So you can you know, follow along the video, but you also know with your shopping list what you need to buy. Hello, Bernice, how are you? Welcome in, thank you for coming. Grand Rising Chef, it is good, good to see you, good to see you. Thank you so much, Vernus. Appreciate it. Hello, Dove Birds. How are you? Welcome into the live. Thank you for coming. I am just browning my ground beef right now, and my potatoes are cooking. I'm trying to bring them up to a boil. My uh, hot plate is obviously a little bit slower coming up to temp than my stovetop would be, but it's awful easier to film this way. Yeah, hey, Sally. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Vernis. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Yes, the A-team is now mommy on deck, guys. For those of you who don't know, I see you putting it in the stream. So I felt okay to say it out loud. So how many of you all have had shepherd's pie before let me know in the comments how many of you guys have had shepherd's pie before Verna says the 18 true family yes 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 okay we are browning this in white quite nicely although my potatoes have not started boiling yet so I need them to go ahead and boil Need those to go ahead and boil, but this is gonna have to simmer for a little bit, so we're good. Retro said, You already know I have, that's why I asked you to make yes, you sure did. As a matter of fact, guys, although I'm doing shepherd's pie now for St. Patrick's Day, this was actually a subscriber request for retro completionists that's in the live. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> 
But I finally got around to it. You know, with so many recipes you have to make and so many people making requests and things, sometimes you kind of get behind. But I didn't forget. I did not forget, Retro. Yes. Okay. So our potatoes are finally boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and take this top off now. So I just wanted it to come up to temp, or maybe I should leave it on for a few more seconds, make sure it's good and rolling boil. Our beef is almost ground completely. And there is no right or wrong way to make shepherd's pie, guys. There's a, a ton of different ways, as well as a ton of different ingredients that you can put in it. So, you know, I always tell people, you know, once you start cooking a recipe, it becomes yours. So make it your own, whatever you want to add in it. So while this is going here, let me add some seasonings in here. I'm going to put a little salt in here. I typically use Himalayan pink salt. Got to add a little onion powder. A little garlic powder. And a little black pepper. Okay, this is rolling. Now I'm going to take this top off. Make sure everything is good and seasoned, guys. Never be afraid to add your seasonings in. You can always taste as you go and adjust. Start off with a small amount of seasonings. If you're not sure, taste it. Need more, put more. Okay. So this is good and brown. My potatoes are now boiling. I am going to drain off some of this liquid from my beef so that I can then saute my veggies in the same skillet. Never had it but see it all the time in the store. And I yell it out to my husband and Julia Child. <laughs> no, that's right, yes. Yes, yes, yes. In your Julia Child's voice, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Okay, so I'm just gonna drain this. in this container. Sit the beef aside. Hey, Mr. Fulton, I haven't seen you in a long time. And I'm going to take a little bit of the oil I just poured off the beef, put it back in the skillet. I had a bowl in my sink. It didn't go down the drain. <laughs> and I am going to Put my carrots and onions and garlic in here and get that all sauteed up. And it's okay if the little beef is still left in the skillet, that's okay. All these flavors are just going to bend, to bend together, blend together. Yes. Mr. Fulton, how have you been? Oh, well, happy anniversary, Mr. Fulton. Happy anniversary. The carrots are a little bit, take a little bit longer to break down. You don't want them mushy, but you do want them to get a little tender. So I'm gonna saute those first. Then we're gonna add in our onion and our garlic in just a couple of more seconds here. For a nice hot meal like this as well the temperatures are perfect it's not a hot st patrick's day coming up so that'll be wonderful 
see how our potatoes are doing over here. They only need to cook probably about five, eight minutes. You want them to be fork tender, which they are not there yet. The 18, I bet carrots make it sweet. Carrots oh, do have a little sweetness to them, yes. And I'd rather have a natural sweet like a carrot than add any sugar in. Yes. I also like to share. Thank you for sharing me out retro. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our onions, chopped onions and garlic. Get all the goodness and love off the dishes, guys. And continue to saute. Anybody have anything they're doing for St. Patrick's Day? I know a lot of cities and states are still kind of pretty much shut down, half open. Hello, I am human. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you for coming. How are you doing? Looks good, but I don't do meat. Okay, well, you know what? There's a vegetarian form. Leave the meat out, add some more vegetarians in. You can add some zucchini in here. Just add more veggies in. Same dish. This can be vegetarian. All you need to do is leave the meat out and add in more veggies. So right now I have my carrots and my onions and my garlic saute. You might want to add in some zucchini. Um, you'll have potatoes already because that goes on the top. Uh, I'm having corn and peas will go in here as well. So pick you some good veggies, some good um, hearty veggies, like maybe uh, zucchini that you can slice and it would go well in a dish like this. Hey, Bree, how are you? Thank you for coming in. So good to see you. Hope you're doing wonderful as well. We are just sauteing our veggies now for our shepherd's pie. I have my potatoes over here cooking. They're boiling, Mr. Fulton. Chef, you don't have any green on today. No, I don't. Um, but I'm cooking with a little green. And I'll probably have green on tomorrow. The official St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Hey, Yolanda, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Where I live, we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Okay. A lot of people don't even, you know, where I live, they don't celebrate it. That's no, but you know what, Shepherd's Pie, it's a traditional, kind of like an Irish meal, but you can have it any time of the year for any reason because it's just a good comfort food type meal. Just a good comfort food. Yeah. Okay, so those are just about ready because the onions are turning translucent. Let me see how my potatoes are doing over here. And they are pretty much good because the fork goes right through them with no problem. I'm going to let those cook just a few more minutes there, a couple more minutes. While we go ahead and add back in our beef. Bye. Love to see you later. Saying bye to my son. Okay. Now that we've got that in there, mix that in real well. corn, the 18 chef and more, I would love a double oven. I would too, that is not one. <laughs> That's a microwave in an oven. I would too. I would love a double oven. Yes ma'am. That's a microwave and an oven. So we just added in our corn. You turn the river green. That's awesome. 
<laughs> so we're adding a little corn there. And I know I'm making more than my casserole dish is going to hold, but that's okay. That this will be called leftovers at that point. Yes. So now we're going to go in with a little Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I mean, sauce. That's what I call it. You know what I mean, sauce. I say that all the time. Just about maybe a tablespoon or two. Not much. Also, we're going to go in with a couple of spoons full of um, tomato paste. And we're going to go in with our beef broth. You can use chicken broth or stock, whatever you have. And if you have none, you can, you can use water. Get this all mixed in together here. I'm going to let this simmer just a couple of minutes. Then we're going to go in with our flour so we can thicken this up into a gravy-like consistency. And while we do that, we are going to start getting our potatoes ready. So the first thing I'm going to do here is strain my potatoes and set them aside. And we're going to heat up some heavy cream, sour cream, and butter for our mashed potatoes. You always want to heat your liquids for your mashed potatoes because if you don't, that's how you get, if you just add in cold liquid like cold milk or heavy cream or half and half, hey Nina, how are you? Thank you for coming. Then you will have um, gummy potatoes. This is a little sour cream going in here. So you want to heat it up. Doesn't have to be super hot, but get it well blended and heat it up. And we're going in with a half a stick of butter. And let that melt, the butter melt and the sour cream blend in really well. Give this a stir. Go ahead and add in a few tablespoons of flour. That may be enough. Let's see. You can always add more in. While we're waiting on our heavy cream over here to get well blended. This is smelling amazing. I wish we had smell of vision where you guys could smell this. Oh my goodness. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. And I'm going to add just a little bit more flour in here because I like mine just a little bit thicker. Just a little bit, not much. We'll let that continue to simmer, get some of that liquid thickened up in there. Almost, you want almost like a gravy consistency. Oh my God, this is smelling amazing. Let's get this all stirred. We are just waiting for our butter to melt in here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this completely off. I'm gonna add a little cheese in here as well. Just a little bit, a little bit of cheddar cheese in here. We're gonna put that into our mashed potatoes, let that continue to heat up. Give this a stir. Oh my God, it is thickening up, it is looking amazing. Yes, I could eat potatoes alone. Yes, indeed. Nothing like a good creamy mashed potatoes. You want your potatoes pretty creamy for this particular dish. 
Oh my God, could you not see that? Y'all see that? Look at that color in there. Oh my goodness. Looks amazing, looks amazing. Okay, so got enough flour. I'll sit that side over there. My spoon there. I'm gonna bring our potatoes over here. My pot is cooled down enough. Put them back in the pot. And we're just gonna mash them a little bit. Masher, you can use a fork if you don't have a masher. As long as you get them mashed up. Then we'll be adding in our liquid in a little bit at a time. You don't want to pour it all in either because you want them to come out creamy. And this is stir. Oh yeah, this is delicious. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our peas. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to eat, guys. I cannot wait to eat. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. It is smelling delicious. Yes, it is, yes it is. Oh my goodness. Thought I had a smaller pot hole, I do. I want you guys to see this. You see that color in there, guys? Oh, it looks delicious. And it's thick, nice and thick and rich. And before I mash up my potatoes, I'm gonna go in here, give it just a little bit of taste. Just wanna taste the seasoning. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't need anything else in there. So, get our potatoes mashed up here. Hey, John, how are you? Good to see you, John, good to see you. Set our potato mashing up over there. That completes, sure that's completely off. And this is just our heavy cream, sour cream, butter, and uh, just a little cheddar cheese, not much, not much. We're going to blend this into our mashed potatoes a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Chef, I can see how much happier you are now cooking. I am so, yes, I, I am, I am, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to put a little bit in a time and get it stirred up to the mashed potatoes. Nice and creamy. Hey, Andrew. How are you? I'm here. I'm eating my lunch. Okay, Bree. Thank you for being here. Andrew, hey, you caught me. I'm so glad you caught me. Yes. Reminder didn't go off. Oh, okay. Well, you know how that goes between the notifications and the reminders. Not necessarily working like we like them to. Give this a stir. This is awful because it's still sitting on an electrical um, eye. It still will be cooking a little bit, so I want to make sure I give it a good stir. Give it a good stir. Hey, Stella, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for coming. All right, Mama Ray Ray, glad you are back. Go ahead and put the rest of this in here. Get these potatoes all whipped up. And then we can build our casserole, guys. We can build our casserole. See how quick this was? This was really quick. Now, I've been, I guess, on live at this point about 30 minutes. We are ready to build our casserole. So now, can you imagine if I wasn't on live and I was just doing this in my house? This is just to give you guys an idea of how quick it is. 
it would have been quicker because I wouldn't have been stopping, I wouldn't have been talking, I would have just been working. So it's really, really quick. And um, to make it even quicker, if you like, I actually, that's good, nice and creamy potatoes. Can you guys see that? I actually, um, it's not hot, let me sit it here for a second. I actually um, cut up my potatoes and everything ahead of time, of course. But likewise, guys, you can use frozen veggies, just all frozen, a bag of mixed frozen vegetables. And that will work just as well. That will work just as well. I'm going to bring my casserole dish over here so that we can build it. Oh, ooh. pick that up a little bit. So I have chosen to use a smaller casserole dish, Simply Recipes. Hello, hello, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Let's see here. I had actually buttered it uh, earlier. I want to make sure. You don't have to butter your dish because there's enough oil and things in the in the mix to keep it from sticking or anything. It's really a habit I have that I do. So that's just kind of me. Yes, hello, hello, hello. Yes, I'm from Rockford, originally Boston, been in Chicago now 18 years. I'm about 45 minutes from, okay. Okay, I know you're talking to somebody. Chef, I, I, chef, a run going through an area I'd stop by. And, <laughs> that would be awesome. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my egg yolk, have an egg yolk here, to put in the mashed potatoes. And it was supposed to go in last, so it's a good thing. I just remember before I put the potatoes, started building my thing. It's just an egg yolk. The egg yolk is going to help... Um, the potatoes come together as well as it will help them brown up in the oven. Not the whole egg, just the egg yolk. So all you need is the egg yolk. Blend that in. So it was a good thing I had everything sitting here. Oh my goodness, these look amazing. You're right, I could just eat the potatoes. <laughs> look how rich and creamy and delicious that looks. Doesn't that look amazing, guys? Doesn't that look good? These potatoes look awesome. And here's my, that's my fork off right quick. I'm cooking for my family so I get to taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Whew. Let me deal with this before the potatoes end up missing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I want those potatoes. Oh my goodness. And they are something to want. Oh, I don't need a slotted spoon. I use my other spoon for there. Let me grab a larger spoon right quick, guys. little bowl. And just put all of your meat mixture in the bottom. Now there are some shepherd's pie that has the potatoes on the bottom and the sides but this is quick and easy so we're gonna put our potatoes on the top. We don't need them on the sides. We don't need them on the bottom. We'll have plenty on top. Yes we will. Yes we will. And any leftover mixture will get put in a container. And one day I'll just get it out and have it with maybe a roll or something like that. Nice and hot. Yes. Thank you so much, Sally. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes. So any that's that's what will happen with any leftover. But I may not have, I may not have any leftover. 
We shall see, we shall see. If I do, it'll be a little bit. Awesome, I can go ahead and get this all in here. See, I had the right size dish after all. I really did. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Can y'all smell it? <laughs> we need smell-o-vision. Who's gonna develop, who's gonna develop smell-o-vision? Who is going to develop smell-o-vision? That's what I wanna know. Okay, so we have all of our mixture into our casserole dish. Pretty as evenly as we can get it. Now we're just going to go in and put our mashed potatoes on top. You know what guys, I am going to remove my skillet now that it is empty from over here because it is still kind of hot. That way uh, I don't have to worry about anything in the bottom of it burning because the eyes just don't cool down from electricity that, that quick. This rinsed off. put our potatoes on the top. If you want to be fancy, you can use a piping bag or something, but we're not being fancy today. Thank you, Stella. Let me put them on here. And we'll smooth them around in just a second. We'll put some little peaks in there so that when they cook, the little peaks on the top will brown. And you want a good layer of potatoes, guys. You don't want a very thin layer because you have so much meat mixture, you need to, you need to have it so that it'll be evened out. Just gonna get our potatoes in here. These smell so delicious. Oh my goodness. in here on this side. That should do it. Let's see. Oopsie. Okay. Now you just want to take the back of your spoon and kind of make some indents in there. That's going to create some peaks. Those peaks will brown. The whole top will brown, but those peaks will brown. And that's going to make just for a good presentation. And after this, we're going to sprinkle some cheese on top. I have a mixture of Parmesan, Asiago, provolone cheese. Chef, what does the egg do for the potatoes? Why is it necessary? It's going to help these potatoes brown as well as maintain their, their um, not their texture, but their structure. A little bit more right here in this little dot right there. So that's what the egg yolk does. It doesn't alter the taste though. So now, Andrew says it looks good, so tasty. Your mashed potatoes look extra creamy. Just thank you. I didn't see that one. Thank you. Please take the camera closer so we can have a good view. I will bring it to the camera in a minute. How about that? The camera's on the tripod, so I can't really, I can't really move it but I will bring it to you guys so you can have a look right before we go in the oven. And I am just sprinkling some cheese on top, not a lot, but it's, oh my gosh, it's just gonna give it that taste and help it brown and look delicious. 
Look, delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay, so I'll come around. Oh, it's heavy. Can you guys see that? Is it? It looks like it's, um, let's see. How about now? That looks better. Looks like it was, I was too close. You guys see that? And now we're going to go ahead and this is hot and it's heavy. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this in our oven under the broiler. Put it under the broiler. So you have to watch it because as most of you all know, if you put something under the broiler and turn your back, it's brown. It's brown, brown to burnt. So turn your broiler on high. You also want to make sure that this is at least six to eight inches from your burners. So I'm putting it down here on my bottom thing. It's going to be about six inches from it. Right smack dab in the middle. I just turned the oven on because it does not take a long time for the broiler to heat up. And I'll just keep peeking at it. It's 1240 my time. So I'll just keep peeking at it over the next two or three minutes to make sure it doesn't over brown. Wow, it looks so delicious. Thank you, it looks Gracia. Thank you, OMG, let me send you some air mail. <laughs> All right, so let me move this out the way so that when it comes out the oven, I can sit it right over here. And while it's in the oven, then when it comes out of the oven, I have some scallions that I grew in my yard that I harvested. Um, you guys can see that on my other channel. We're gonna garnish it with these. So otherwise, while it's in the oven, guys, we get to chat and clean up. This is the top to the casserole dish. Clean my towel here. I didn't use all this cheese. Sit this aside. Clean off where I messed up with some cheese. Everything you cook is just pure perfect. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much. Put our trivet here because that's going to be too hot to sit on the counter when it comes out. And see, guys, see how quick this was? Oh, my goodness. It was really quick. It was really, really quick. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So we will clean up just right now while we chat. Well, it's official. You just made me hungry. <laughs> Good. That's the purpose, John. I like to clean as I go. Two reasons. When I'm done, I get to sit down and enjoy my meal as well. And uh, I don't have all that work to do. Chef BC says, I'm glad with scientists and this. Yes, me too. Me too, me too. Andrew says, me too. Everybody saying me too. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I will be absolutely happy. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be happy about that or not. I'll take that back. Then it's really gonna make us hungry. We think we're hungry now. Mama Ray is in the house still. Thank you guys for coming here. Don't forget to check out all my other videos as well, if you haven't. And, um, I actually have a mashed potatoes recipe up as well. If you want to know how I actually did everything with the potatoes, but the only difference I did is I didn't infuse herbs that I typically would infuse when I'm just having basic mashed potatoes. Chef and Mama Ray Ray Pondi is looking. She's looking. Hey. So do I, nothing worse than doing dishes on a full, isn't that the truth? Yes, yes, isn't that the truth? 
And I mean, you have, at least for me right now, I have the downtime of my instructor's cooking. So I might as well do something constructive as well as talk to you guys, chat. And I'm just simply really putting them in the dishwasher. It's not like I'm doing major, major anything. And I'll leave those for later. I guess it's only two more things. As long as this still has some potatoes in it. So I'm going to set that aside. Because those potatoes are not going to waste. No ma'am, no ma'am. Can you smell them? <laughs> Can you smell them? Can you smell them? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Smelling amazing, amazing. Absolutely. <sighs> so we only have a couple more minutes before it comes out, guys. Yes. So what are you all, or those of you all who may be doing something for St. Patrick's Day, what are you guys doing? Are you cooking anything special? What are you cooking? Mama Ray Ray, what are you going to be cooking for uh, St. Patrick's Day? Or have you cooked anything already for St. Patrick's Day? Chef, it looks delicious. Yummy shepherd's pie. Thank you so much, Mama Ray Ray. Yeah, simple recipes. What are you cooking? Chef BC, what are you cooking? Andrew, what are you cooking? Stella Grills and Chills. Bree, are you cooking anything? Yes. Did I miss anybody? Anybody? Yes. That's cooking anything. Awesome. Awesome and amazing. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. I think we're ready to come out. See, it only took, it was what? It is, that was six minutes. Six minutes. And our potatoes are just about brown, looking good. Chef, you have a beautiful voice and you cook. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Mara. Okay. I'm going to try to bring this closer so you guys can see it. See that, guys? See how it browned on the top? Not too much. And we're going to go in with some of our scallions. And the thing about it is because everything was pre-cooked, nothing needed to cook in the oven. Nothing needed to cook. The standard corned beef and cabbage because I love... All right, Yolanda. Yes, Andrew, I'm doing the same a cake, St. Patrick's Day thing, awesome, a nurse, I can't wait to see that. I love to cook, but I never do it on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Lucille Ball was funny, we liked her. Beautiful, I'm looking for my keys, all right. Looks like, all right, now we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you guys again in just a second. I'm gonna just take a few scallions, you can take some fresh parsley or whatever. I happen to love onions, so I, I garnish everything with scallions, or I try to. <laughs> and just put a few on there. And I will take a picture of this and use it as my thumbnail for my St. Patrick's Day recipe. Easy, quick, shepherd's pie. Thank you, Mama Ray Ray. Okay, so now we have it with the garnish on top. Can you guys see that pretty good? You see that? It looks delicious. It just smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Ooh, wait, all I need is some Irish whiskey about right now. <laughs> give me a give me an Irish drink. I got my Irish drink and an Irish drink. Hey, oh sookie sookie now. 
The <laughs> Sally says, I'm cooking corned beef and cabbage. Yes. Oh, wow. It looks so great. I wish I could taste it. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes. Mama Ray Ray says, great job, Chef. Stella says, oh, my goodness. Yes. Thank you so much. The potatoes are creamy and I can smell them and they smell delicious. Bree says, found my keys. Oh, good. Good. I knew you would find them. It was just a matter of a few minutes, Bree. Yes. Hey, Jess Teresa, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Yes. Oh, my goodness. John says, I brine my own corned beef, so I won't do that. Cut it up. Glaze it with German kraut and vegetables with butter knife, gravy sauce, and make a German corn. Oh, sookie, sookie now. Yes. I got to watch the replay. It looks delicious. Yes, please do, Jess Teresa. Please do. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm -mm. I don't know why I froze up the, the froze up, but thank goodness it froze at the end, not the beginning. <laughs> all right, your beans are giving all right. Yes, yes, yes. Can you? Oh, yes, just Teresa. Teresa, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes. Can you see it now? Can you see it now, Teresa? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, let me know if you were able to see that. Were you able to see that, Teresa? Hey, how are you, how are you? Majoba, am I saying it right, Majoba? Am I saying that correctly? Thank you for coming in, Oprah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I buffered for a minute there. I don't know why. Who knows why? <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming in, Majoba. I appreciate that. Simple recipe is great recipe. I can smell the aroma from here. I will try shepherd's pie. All right, all right. Thanks so much, Chef. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sally. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see looks amazing. I love shepherd's pie. I haven't made it in a long time though. I know it's one of those dishes, um, at least for me, that I forget about. I forget about. You know, and it's quick. It's easy. You too, Mama Ray Ray. You too. Yes, it is quick and easy. So, um, it is one of those dishes that you forget about. You don't, you don't think about it. I'm not going to cut into it because I want to give it a chance to cool a little bit and therefore it will set. Um, because when you cut into it, I, don't, I hate when you cut into it and it just runs everywhere. So you always see the thumbnail. I don't know if the thumbnail will be with it cut or like this. But I probably will cut it for the thumbnail so that you can see the inside as well. I just have to play it by ear. depends depends because I want to kind of get the thumbnail up. Yes, it used to be popular way back in the day. Let you bring it back. Yes, it did. Thank you, Majoba. Thank you. Yes, it did. It really did. It was real popular back in the day. It was a good leftover meal. And um, people used their leftover beef for it and whipped it up quickly. You know, some vegetables, throw some vegetables in, and they were done. Yes. All right, Sally. All right. I'm going to be out of here in a second, too. Uh, everyone have a blessed and safe day. Great live, Chef Pam. Thanks so much. And thank you, Sally. Thank you for coming and being here and hanging out with me in my kitchen. I appreciate it. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. For all you, anyone that's new, please remember to uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll always uh, get my notifications when I go live or when I um, upload. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Brian, my own corned beef. I'm going to cut that up and mix that with vegetables, making corned beef butter sauce and a little sauerkraut. Make a great German corned beef pot pie. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Well, everyone, I'm going to get out of here too. If you missed anything, please go back and look at the replay. Please share it out to friends and family. And I appreciate each and every one of you for your awful, 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 lawful, <laughs> your amazing support. Yes. So I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creep don't rise. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.